Good morning, it is Monday and the kids woke up really excited this morning and I'll show you why. We got our first snow of the year, except as you can tell most of it melted already. It still is snowing a little bit. So the kids are running around all excited. Uh, they said they wanted to build a snowman and a snow fort and I said I don't think there's quite enough snow to do that yet. Are you excited about lots of snow outside? Yes! Shovels out! We need to get the shovels out? Yes! The birdies are okay. You think the birdies are okay? Yes. I see some birdies in the feeder. Two goldfinches, one chickadee. Chickadee! Dee, 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 dee. When are we starting our uh, feeder project? Well, they were supposed to do it. No, Daddy! There's not snow! There is a lot of snow. We're supposed to do feeder watch on Friday and Saturday, but we just didn't have enough time to sit down and count. So we should do the count today, particularly with bad weather like this that come in heavy and you always get a really exciting bird count. We are attempting to load up and get out of the house. We are now at the library. I met somebody for our blessing bags and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about them as I get going, but I'm gonna hand the camera to Art. Since Janelle is driving, let me tell you a little bit about the blessing bags, except I'll probably get it a little wrong, so she'll have to help you out and correct me. We're going to a nursing home right around Christmas time. I don't know if it's gonna be on Christmas or a day before or something like that. And we are going to hand out these bags uh, full of, um, let's see, a blanket, some uh, hand cream, and uh, a few other things. Senior friendly Yes, items. senior friendly items. This is the nursing home that Auntie A and my wife's grandma were in for several years. And uh, so we know most of the people there and we just want to provide some cheer. A lot of people don't have any family that come to visit them. So uh, we're going to go there, hand out these bags, and people are sponsoring them from the area. And uh, it's $10 to sponsor a bag. And we're already up to 44 uh, sponsored bags so far. And I think we're looking for between 80 and 90. Uh, usually they have about that many residents at the home. This is very near and dear to Janelle's heart and also charity uh, because they go into the nursing home a lot and uh, they love working with older people. Well, we, the rest of us do too, but especially Janelle and charity. Janelle put something in the garage sale site and a couple other places, a couple flyers, and people have just been going above and beyond sponsoring the bags and also uh, buying stuff to put in the bags. So uh, it's going very well so far. It's amazing to see the community come together and support this and it's uh, brought Janelle to tears more than once. One of the ladies who supported a whole bunch of the bags said that she wanted her daughter and granddaughter to go into the nursing home with us to help pass out the bags. So we are planning for all of us to go and then Janelle's mom and uh, also this lady and her daughter. How this all started was my cousin wanted to just fill, um, have all of us consultants in our team sponsor one bag. We weren't even going to open this up to community. We were just going to do it within the consultants and fill up one nursing home with, we were, we had about 80 consultants, so that was enough to fill up one nursing home. And then it just blew up. Instead of being just us with consultants, we started opening this up to our customers. And so the first nursing home that we originally were planning on filling, we filled up within three days. And then we started another nursing home in Rutland, Vermont, and then we're doing one down in Schenectady area, and then I'm doing one kind of in between those areas. So right now, we've currently sponsored almost four full nursing homes out of just an idea, which just blows me away. And I think this is making, is going to make such a difference for the seniors um, that are going to be blessed by these bags. And I'm just, I, I am so excited to be part of this. And we will try our best to film for you guys. But there, are, when we're in nursing homes, there are privacy issues. So we'll have to be really careful. We'll film as best as we can. But you know how it goes. Janelle saw a picketer over there. And I, she said, what does it say? So I got out my handy little camera. I zoomed in on the guy, and it says furniture auction today. You want to go? No. <laughs> you want to wave at him? Mom, mom say, don't wave, hi! We're headed into Aldi now. We're not going to get a lot of videos in here. So it took seven minutes to shop, and now we're just waiting in line. We are gone 17 minutes, and let's see, we, are in, we shopped for seven, and we're in line for ten. Very <laughs> we'll get... missed, Mommy. Oh, you're, you'll be okay. Did anybody else miss Daddy and Mommy? 
Mom, guess what happened? Oh, she wants to hug Daddy now. We had problems with her scale and couldn't wait the bananas, and we had to go to different lines, so that took a while. Otherwise, it would have been a lot quicker. Shopping just before Thanksgiving is always a, a, a feat and a scary one at that because of just the sheer amount of people all trying to shop at the same time. Um, they were out of several of the items that I wanted, including the avocados. Um, in fact, I'm hooked on avocados now. Now we're going to check out a store called, I believe it's called the Spoon and Whisk. And I've always wanted to go in there, but I've never had a chance. So Art says, you know what, let's quick run in and see what it's like in there. Here it is. We're going to check it out. See what it's like. Well, there's definitely a big spoon and whisk they have right there. Check out that mortar and pestle. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's like a giant mortar Can and pestle. Can I have pens? Or and they have a tortilla pens? press. Ravioli makers. A pasta drying rack. Got a we have a pasta butter. maker like that. What do they have? A pizza peel so you can pull your pizzas out off the stone like I have. Well, oh. there's some over there too. Okay. okay. Oh, look, they have stamps for making your own ravioli so you don't have to have the whole uh -huh. for pierogies. Well, I think Mommy's liking this. <laughs> that makes me really hungry. What are these? What are those? I don't know. Mom, look at Garlic chopper. Oh, look at this. Look at this. That's cool. Oh, what is it? That's like my little one ounce one or two ounce one. I think I know where they got the Mary Scooper. It's like Mary Scooper. This is where Yeah, so you can get different sizes. They even have like a demonstration kitchen here too. That's kind of cool. Dough risers. Dough risers? That would be cool. There's a little tiny one. For Lily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one is pretty cool. Yes. Lily Walkie. Lily Walkie. Mom. Your birthday present. Good question. I need to look at all the books. Any good ones? Is this fake lemons? What do you think? I think these are for factories. Yeah, those are for factories or people make lots of food. Because they have big food and that's far down. Almost as tall as you. I thought the Spoon and Whisk was a pretty nice hands-on type of store. Because it's a small, one-owned store, it was pretty high-priced. But if you're into supporting local businesses and have a little extra uh, money to spend on kitchenwares, they had some gorgeous things. Our room for cleanup today on the 20th is the studio, and it's on the third floor. We had our third floor cleaned up a few months ago, but it's gotten bad since then. And I'm hoping that uh, doing this once a month will keep it in order. We're all on the third floor getting it neatened up. Charity is in her little uh, craft nook. Oh, oh, there's, oh, there's Charity. We play doctor. We play doctor. Uh, you play doctor? How did you play doctor? With the stethoscope? Does Charity, does Charity have a heart? <laughs> yeah. I'm better. This is where we are. I know it's amazing. We are at Stewart's and we're going to get some ice cream cones because the kids did a good job. We told them if they did a good job cleaning up, we would give them an ice cream cone tonight. Mom, you can sit by me. How's your ice cream? Good. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I need that. And everybody's sharing because we all love tasting everybody's flavors. Would you, you like go. some? Yeah. Take a look. Mm. That's good. I think this is this is um, Lillian's first ice cream well, cone. Well, she's had ice cream at Grandma's house. She has an ice cream cone now. Yeah, Lillian got the Fourth of July. Got the Fourth of July. Oh, oh. Fourth of July ice cream cone. Yes. Yeah, right here. Uh, have it. Mm -hmm. Take a look. What'd you get, Daddy? I got peanut butter pandemonium. Okay, that's good. Uh, I got. I got real ha ha. Ooh, this is like a coffee flavor. Yeah. I got a um, happy camper. Yeah. Oh, taste video camera? <laughs> she doesn't know how to stick her tongue Mom, out. Look at Mary's teeth. <laughs> The kids are just finishing their ice cream cones up and there's lots and lots of sherry. Nah. How was it, Grace? Uh, 
good. Yeah, it was pretty good. My face. Look at your face. It looks like you thoroughly enjoyed your ice cream. We had a mommy fail. I should have brought the baby wipes and cleaned off so their faces could get clean. But we're not that far from home, so we'll clean them up when we get home. And we'll have to wash some jackets too. And yeah. But the fun memories. Yes, price, price for pay for a little bit of fun. Kids have done a good job. Charity donated the end of her cone to Mary because Mary loves ice cream cones. Peter. There's lots of yummy ice cream flavors. And if you're not from this area, Stewart's has some of the best ice cream and the best milk. And this week, let's see, mint chocolate chip is the flavor on sale. And so our John just pointed out they actually have three flavors. Mint chocolate chip, French vanilla, and Stargazer. And I love Stargazer. This is what I had tonight, the peanut butter pandemonium. Uh, vanilla flavored ice cream with chocolate and peanut butter swirls and peanut butter cups. Yum. Where's mine? Where's mine? Like let's see. I don't know if I saw Peter's. Mine was. Peter's only chip. comes in This time. one is really good, too. This raspberry fudge tort. That's a frozen yogurt, but that's really good. What did you think of your ice cream cone, Lillian? Did you like it? Did you like your ice cream cone? It was good, wasn't it? Did Just I'm like really it? tired. It's bedtime. Nothing like a little bit of ice cream before bed to conk you out really good, right? Uh-huh. We have some tears because the sugar's gone. This is the price you pay for... Uh, we are home and the first order of business is to get Lillian in bed because she is very tired and of course we have the usual suspects of well, I need to go potty so it's a good thing we didn't go very far. Mom. Please. Please. You were a little grumpy weren't you? Mom that was so good. Alright let's go in. Mommy that was so good. Oh. Art's upstairs with some of the kids working on the third floor but I had to come downstairs because I started working on making sourdough bread and I'm guessing, yep, <laughs> it's stuck to the top. I'm going to get that in the pan so I can rise and it needs to get baked tonight. Um, but it's only 8.30 so I think I have enough time to do that. Art said he was hoping that it, count, it will come out like the other loaf because the other loaf um, it was so dense. But when you toasted it, it tasted a lot like Melba toast. And if you don't know what Melba toast is, it's like those little um, round bread thing, bread chunks that you'd get in um, Chex Mix snack mix. And he said, if you make another loaf that comes out like Melba toast, I'm just going to toast it all and make it like Melba toast because that was so good. And the flavor was outstanding on the sourdough. It just did not rise. But I think from the looks of it right now, I think it's going to be just fine. And I've got some 31 stuff I'm going to do this evening and try to get that all planned out for um, this entire week. I have a party, a Facebook only party that doesn't have a live component that starts tomorrow and runs for a week through Black Friday and all the new specials and all that. Um, and today I was just doing things with the kids and I didn't have a chance to take care of any of that, but I really need to do that tonight. So I told Art I'm going to finish up the bread and I think he's going to edit a video. I'm going to do that and we're going to call it a night. So I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Maybe if I remember, if he remembers, I'll show you a quick peek of how the sourdough loaf came out. But if not, hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, and when you're watching this, it may possibly be Thanksgiving. I'm not sure how we're doing, but if so, happy Thanksgiving, and we'll see you for our next video. Bye. The bread came out, and it's not as tasty as my last loaf, but it's not dense, and it's really delicious. So I guess I'll call that a win-win for tonight.